Alright, so today we're talking about The Legend of Tarzan. So this is the new Tarzan movie that actually came out four, five years ago now. So this was, you know, I, I have, the first time I heard this movie is when I was first looking at the box office. Like, this movie comes out, it was supposed to be like a big movie, and it basically flopped, you know. It didn't make $350 million worldwide, but it only had a budget of $180 million, which means this movie didn't really do too well at the box office, you know. It is basically actually your, your, your stereotypical generic Hollywood blockbuster. There wasn't really anything special about this movie, basically here. You know, basically, you know, it's... If you have seen, like, the Disney movie, this is basically like the live-action version of the Disney movie. You know, but without the whole scenes where he's in, where he's growing up, basically. You know, it's a more, it's a more darker, it's more, you know... Like that, it's not like, you know, full of songs, full of music. And I think that's what people were expecting it to be like the Disney movie. And it was nothing like the Disney movie. So yeah, if you know what, uh, if you have seen the Disney movie, you probably would know, already know the plot of the movie already. You know, there, like at the end of the movie, all the animals, like destroy the city. You know, that's what happened at the end of this movie. All the animals destroy the city. But you don't really get to see much of like the, some of the animals... You don't really get to see the other animals like the elephants or the zebras or all the other animals. It's just really the buffalo and the lions and the gorillas. Basically, I was seen in this movie. And you'll see like the fight between the gorillas and stuff. You see elephants like a small part of the movie. But this movie is about the animal. But this movie is more about like the people and stuff. They try to mo talk more about the people and stuff in the movie. And also some of the action scenes are pretty decent. And the storyline is basically just what it was. It's very similar to the one in... The Disney movie, but it's more about, but they actually saw more of the atrocities that happened in the Belgian Congo, which I do appreciate them for doing that, because I think more light on what happened there would be the better. So, yep, that's basically it. So, what score do I give this movie? Uh, probably a 7 out of 10. Goodbye.